Welcome to Introduction to Digital Communication. My name is Dr. Doug Strahler, and I'll be the individual that will be leading you through a lot of the asynchronous components of this course. Just to give you a little background about myself, I'm a 2005 graduate of Slippery Rock University. If you don't know where Slippery Rock is, it's about 45 minutes north of Pittsburgh in Western Pennsylvania. While I was at Slippery Rock, I decided to study communication with a focus on emerging multimedia and technology. So during my time there, I really started to look at web development, stuff along those lines. I then had a passion to keep learning, so I went off to Syracuse University to the Newhouse School, where I received my master's degree in new media. What's new media, you ask? We really started to dive into a lot deeper understanding of how the web worked in terms of producing websites, dynamic websites, and some of the topics that we'll be discussing over the next few weeks in the semester. Afterwards, I decided to start a business with two other individuals doing the entrepreneurship route and really look at producing uh, websites for brands, clients, as well as some graphic materials where a lot of, I learned a lot about the industry it, itself. After a few years of doing the entrepreneurship route, I decided to move back to Pittsburgh where I pursued a degree at Duquesne University. I wanted to get my doctorate in instructional technology because one of the things I found interesting was this, uh, this shift towards higher education and even K-12 through environments utilizing technology to help learning. And I really wanted to learn more and apply my skill set, technology skill set, to that field. Uh, during my time there, I decided to focus on studying how social media was playing a role in the field of education and start to see how these Web 2.0 technologies could be used for learning. Uh, upon graduating from there, I am now a professor at Slippery Rock University. Uh, I've gone back to where I received my undergrad degree, where I teach in the Department of Communication. Um, I've also had the opportunity to come back to the Newhouse School and teach adjunct some courses as, the, as well when it comes to the Magazine Capstone Project, as well as now the Intro to Digital Communication course. So I really have a passion about this field because it's always evolving. Technology is always changing, and it's kind of fun to look at how it's changing and affecting our society. That leads us into kind of what topics do we want to discuss over the next couple of weeks. So just to give you kind of a course overview, uh, we're going to start the semester off looking at this idea of media and digital convergence. And how has these technologies been adapted and uh, reframed for all the different industries? Uh, so we're going to start to see how these convergent devices, let's say the smartphone, have brought together mobile viewing as well as website browsing and streaming of video and audio. And how do we utilize those in our everyday lives? Which leads us into this idea of the digital culture and how has it really changed our culture? And we're going to look at different components of how it's affected us in our everyday lives. Next, we're going to dive into this idea of Web 2.0 technologies and social media. It's no longer that we're actual individuals that just consume the media. We become media and content producers as well. So that's what we start to look at is how we start to produce content for these different devices and environments. Next, what we start to look in is more about the internet governance and ethical issues that surround a lot of these, because it has raised a lot of questions. So it'll be interesting to look at things like speech, privacy, stuff along those lines. At midpoint, we'll kind of carry over and start to look more focused on industry like the journalism field, uh, advertising, and how these digital technologies have affected advertising. And then we're going to really move forward and look forward to the future. And that will kind of open up as well as close out our semester when it comes to looking at the future of communication. Now, one of the things that I want you to remember is that we have to cover a lot over these next couple of weeks. So we're only going to cover the foundational things, but it's really going to lead you into whatever your track is within the program. So keep that in mind that we may not get to dive into deep, too deep into some of these different areas as you may like. But that's what's great about it. We'll have a basic understanding, and you can kind of move forward in your different program. And lastly, what I want to look at is how do you succeed in this course? I think a big part about learning is having fun and being engaged throughout the course. Uh, if you're not having fun, you're not really enjoying the course. I think don't think that you're going to have an enjoyable experience in this course or the program at all. So one of the things that I'm hoping you do is really engage yourself with the asynchronous, asynchronous materials because that's going to drive our synchronous, our live session discussions uh, with your live session instructor. And that's one of the things that will make this course a success for you, is if you understand a lot of the concepts, and the concepts range from watching some videos about some of the lectures leading in for that topic, as well as some activities that are going to engage you. It may be a prompt or a question that you have to produce a video response or a textual response, so you start to use these in different ways. 
you also have to write a reflection blog. This is gonna allow us to start to see what you're learning and if you're understanding and being able to apply those different concepts, as well as a case study. All of you have different areas of interest and I'm hoping that you take those passions and funnel them in to see how digital telecommunications really affects those different areas. With that being said, I hope you're ready to get started with the course and dive right into week one.